All right, we are pumped to be bringing Bachelor in Paradise Canada to loyal Bachelor Nation coming up in the fall for the first time city tv and our partner expedia shout out expedia want you to choose the perfect companion who will get a coveted spot on the cast at a secluded summer canadian destination it's gonna be fantastic watch bt uh, for more information, now today we have an exclusive announcement. Do you want to take it over from here? Okay, yeah, you guys are going to watch BT like over it. the next three days, actually, to get to know the hopeful singles. It's really cool. Then you're going to log on to CityTV.com to vote for your favorite finalist. So it's going to be your say as to who makes the final cut. Canada choosing the perfect companion is presented by Expedia, your perfect travel companion. As you said, Sid, today the announcement is this. We know the role of the bartender is crucial mm -hmm. on this show. You know and love Wells with the uh, American counterpart. Shout out, Wells. So, Wells, 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 who's it going to be for the Canadian counterpart of this hit show? Without further ado, we make the announcement. The Bachelor in Paradise Canada bartender will be... <laughs> Bachelor alum Kevin Wint. We love Kevin. Yes. Kevin Wint. Are you kidding me? Let's go, Steve, Kevin. You got to chat with him. Yeah, I got to chat with him. And so let's give everybody a bit of history on Kevin, of course. Uh, he was in the first season of The Bachelorette Canada, where he won the show, got engaged, and then... Broke it off with Jasmine. He later appeared at the Bachelor Winter Games. Yeah. And then in 2018, he appeared on the fifth season of Bachelor in Paradise. Eliminated in week six, but he met Astrid on Bachelor in Paradise. And then they ended their relationship on the show. But later on, like in real comet, life things. Like an asteroid, she came got, back. <laughs> they got together and they are now engaged, <laughs> living in Toronto. Yay. And he is a firefighter and he is excited to be the bartender. We got a chance to uh, chat about it. Huge. And uh, here's what he had to say. What is it that you are going to be doing, Bachelor in Paradise Canada? Well, I feel like um, one job I thought I would never have is bartender. <laughs> and better late than never. So uh, I was lucky enough to be selected or asked to um, participate in the show from a bartender's point of view. And obviously, Wells uh, is a big part of the US. Um, paradise scene and Astrid and I definitely did lots of combos with him about each other and he was always kind of the the guy in the background giving good advice so when the opportunity came up to be a bartender and have no stress and just kind of mix drinks and hang out I thought what a great way to to get back into the show without the stressful part of it I come up to you and you know I'm in my feelings because the person that I'm I'm digging not really vibing me back what drink are you making me and what's the advice you're giving me while I sip on that drink well, I feel like in a place like Paradise, I'm sure everyone knows, you want to keep your calories low, okay? Because that sure can come off at any time without notice. You got to make sure you're in the good shape. So I'm probably going to stick to the tequila or the vodka, a little bit of soda. I think we did splash of pineapple just to give it that Paradise vibe. Very simple. Um, and advice-wise, I think you, know, you don't get two shots at it. I think Astrid and I were quick to um, realize that you have this you have this place where there's no distractions there's no family there's no phones there's you're just in the moment um, and you'll regret not doing something in that moment my advice to everyone would just be when you're there treat it like no one's watching and just go for it because uh you'll regret not doing something down the road that's some sage advice that's some bartender yeah, advice smart guy from a frontline great advice right I, I try to say are you going to be the gossipy bartender that tells everybody everything or are you going to keep it to yourself he's like no 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 man i, I want to get i want to be back for another season so i'm just going to keep it to myself yeah. so uh, excited for that over the next three days as we mentioned we're going to give you a chance to meet some of the uh, hopeful singles where you're going to go to citytv.com to vote for your favorite finalists and we're going to see them on the show Here. as well we're going to test on this them. show it's yeah. a live audition essentially mm -hmm. and then you guys get to decide who makes it to paradise. Ooh, can't wait. I can't wait. Love to Kevin, too. I feel like uh, Astrid will definitely make an appearance on the show, too. Then. And he gave me, uh, quickly, I know we're going to wrap up here, but he gave me a thing. It's going to be, can I say that? Where it's going to be shot? It? Oh, yeah. Oh, we oh. Can't, oh can, can we? We know. I think so. He said, I mean, he told me. It's gonna be. It's gonna be in the province of Ontario. That's all I can oh. say. All right. It's not too okay. specific. That's all I, mean, I say. I won't say anything else. I don't. I don't want to get in trouble. This is same company, man. We're okay. Gonna, you know, okay. I'm gonna keep my job. Okay. Yeah. Allegedly, yeah. according to Kevin, he yeah. might know a thing or two. <laughs> mm. Thanks so much. We'll be back with more BT right after this. <laughs> Interesting, D. Meant for you during the pandemic. What has sports meant for you during the pandemic? One eight six six two six seven. 3797 feedback at breakfast television.ca at breakfast.